Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on uh, single phase power measurement and, and this primarily will solve the practice problem. And just uh, to recall the power meter has two sets of terminals. One uh, is for the uh, current and other is for the voltage and in any circuit we connect the current terminals in series of the circuit and the voltage terminal in parallel of the circuit. Now this is the practice problem. The question is determine the watt meter reading when positive terminal of the watt meter is connected. So this is the positive terminal of the watt meter and when it is connected at this point x and also when it is connected at this point y and third when it is connected at point z and we have to state whether or not the potential coil has to be reversed in order to obtain an upscale reading and third we have to identify the device or the devices absorbing or generating power. So uh, we can simplify this circuit again by eliminating the coil. So this is the current where current coil was present and uh, without this, this is the circuit that we have and we can solve this into parallel so we can find Z1 which is minus J12 parallel 6. So Z1 will become 4.8 minus J24. So we can draw the circuit. So this is our equivalent circuit now. These two replaced by Z1 impedance which has this value. And now we can find the current through the circuit. Why? Because this is the formula for power. So we have to we know V, we got to know I and we got to know the angles of the two. So first of all, we'll find the current in the circuit. So this is the loop for current and by KVL, we start from one corner. So this is minus 100, so minus 100 angle 0 plus J2 into I, J2 into I, this is a voltage source, so we don't need to multiply this with current, so we'll write it as it is, plus 150 plus J130, plus 4 into I, so 4 into I, and plus this impedance, 4.8 minus J24 into I, so 4.8 minus J24 into I equals 0. And from here, uh, we can just by solving, taking the terms together, we can calculate I, which will be 15.83 angle minus 108.4 ampere. So now that we have found current, let's... Okay, so the first was that we have to connect the voltmeter to terminal X. This is the circuit that we had and we had already calculated the current to be here. So let's now draw the circuit. We connect the voltmeter's positive terminal to terminal X. So basically we need to find the voltage across this impedance. We call this voltage as V1. So the voltage can be found by current multiplied by Z1. The current flowing through here multiplied by Z1. So plugging in the values uh, of current and Z1 is 4.8 J24 and polar it is 5.36 minus 26. So we plug in that and so this is the value of the voltage V1. And now we can find the power by using this formula magnitude of V1, so this is the magnitude, um, sorry, this is the magnitude of V1, 84 point this, and the magnitude of current, and cos 
theta v this angle minus minus 108 so that will become plus 108 and so solving we find the answer to be 1201 uh, watt in the book it is 1200 so we are very close now since this is a positive sign and I am sure you have learned from the positive sign convention that, that the positive signs means power is being absorbed so the circuit or this the uh, the right hand circuit or primarily uh, this has a resistance and um, uh, inductance uh, uh, sorry capacitance so the power I'm sure you know that the power is only absorbed by the resistive elements or the uh, battery uh, itself not by the inductive or capacitive elements so the power is actually being absorbed by the 6 ohm resistance okay now okay so we are on the second part we have to connect now the positive terminal of the voltmeter or the voltage terminal to Y so we connected it to Y and uh, now you can see that these two coming in series so we can again redraw and uh, let's call this impedance to be Z2 which is summation of 4 into Z1 uh, 4 plus Z1 so 4 plus Z1 and the new impedance will be 8.8 .8 minus J24 or this is in polar form and now we again just like the previous example we find this voltage V2 the current we have already um, found same current so voltage V2 is I into Z2 and just like the previous example we plug in the value of I we plugging in the value of Z2 from here so this is the new voltage V2 and power same form Pz2 which is again as I mentioned that the power is only absorbed by the resistive elements that is why it is written 4 and 6 this is 4 and there is a 6 ohm resistance here so 4 and 6 so V2 magnitude of V2 144.37 multiply by magnitude of current cos theta V so theta V is minus 123.65 and minus minus 108 from here so it will become plus so the answer is 2204 uh, watt and the book it has given 2200 watt again we are very close here and same conclusion since it is a positive sign that means power is being absorbed by these two resistances 4 and 6 ohm resistance now okay now here we have to connect uh, the voltage positive terminal to Z so we connected this to Z and this is the circuit now we need to find V3 we could either use this left loop or we could use the right loop to find V3 current again is same so I am using left loop here so I am starting from here so minus 100 plus J2 into I plus J2 into I and plus V3 is equal to 0 then plugging in the values J2 can be written as 2 angle 90 and I from here V3 and solving we find V3 to be 70.7 angle 8.13 if you would have used this right loop again you will get the same answer you would have written minus v3 plus 150 plus j130 because this is voltage source and plus i into z2 same result okay so we have found uh, v3 and now plugging in we find the p3 which is v3 i cos theta v mag of uh, the V3 is 70.7 .7, magnitude of the current and the angles so the answer is minus 50 uh, minus 500 watt now the minus sign means that one of the meter polarity has to be reversed first of all because the meter would be deflecting on the left hand side so it is easier to reverse the 
voltage polarity so when we reverse this the reading will be uh, on the right hand side but keep in mind that the actual sign was negative and so what does a negative sign means that is the power is being supplied and uh, I'm saying it is by the right hand side because this voltage source is bigger than the left hand voltage source so the power is being supplied by the right hand side and that means we can say that the power is being absorbed by the left hand side or primarily this battery so the power is being absorbed by this battery uh, 500 watts so i hope this gives you an understanding of how to solve this type of problem thank you